Hello to all of our viewers out there. I'm Theodore Whitelow for Breaking Through News. Following up on our continued coverage of the Melissa Duncan bench trial that's held right here in the Rockingham County Circuit Courthouse on floor three, courtroom C, in front of Judge Bruce Albertson, we have a bombshell. Overnight, Melissa Duncan sent me a video and a still photo of a shot in the video where Melissa Duncan claims it proves and shows that Officer Jones actually did choke Nina Bradley, her wife. Now, this is very central to the defense's case because the defense claims that Melissa Duncan acted with only in uh, with the intent of getting Officer Jones's arm from around his wife's neck. She said she pushed his arm and pulled his arm, but she said she never intended to assault police officers. Now, Duncan's charged with two counts of assault and battery on police officers and one count of obstruction of justice. She's facing up to six months, six months up to five years on each of the uh, assault charges and up to one year in jail on the uh, obstruction charge. So she's facing a total of 11 years. So this is a very important trial. Now, I'm going to show our viewers the video here in a moment. Momentarily, I'm going to show you the video that was sent to me in the still photo, and I'll let you guys be the judge of it. But Duncan claims this is where Melissa Bradley was choked, and this is the reason that she tried to move Officer Jones's arms off of, from around, his arm from around the neck of Nina Bradley, which is her wife. She said she thought that he was going to kill her. She thought that she, he, she was going to die, and that's why she did what she had to do. And she said she's not apologizing for what she had to do. She said she had to do it at trial yesterday during the testimony. Now, this is also very important because if, in fact, what Ms. Duncan says is in the video is true, that means that all three Harrisonburg police officers that got on the stand yesterday and testified that Officer Jones did not choke Nina Bradley would be lying. So, this is very important. I'm going to show you guys the video, then I'm going to give you a little back history on how all this came about, how this case started. It started back on December 15th of 2018, last year, uh, when Duncan and her wife were having a party and the police were called out for a noise violation and it ended up being a very chaotic scene with these, these women, uh, with Duncan being tased twice by two different police officers. She was tased one by, uh, I believe, Officer Jones and, and the second time by Officer Kramer. Now, the three officers that testified on the stand yesterday were Officer Jones, Officer Kramer, and Officer Castellano of the Harrisonburg Police Department. So let's go ahead and shoot over to that video and I'll let you guys be the judge of what you see. Now, Circuit Court Judge Bruce Albertson heard evidence yesterday. He heard all the testimony, all the evidence, except for, obviously, this video that I just obtained last night. And the prosecution rested its case, and the defense rested its case. Now, Bruce Albertson is supposed to make a decision today at 4 p.m. on Duncan's guilt or innocence. And we will be here to bring you that. We'll have a live update on the Breaking Through Facebook page and YouTube channel as to the outcome of this case. In downtown Harrisonburg, on Court Square, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.